Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on Madden 18 Ultimate Team, and we have new flashbacks in the game. Um, I'll quickly go over the limited time Thursday cards that came out. Uh, won't go too in-depth into them, uh, but we will. I'll show them real quick. So we got the Frank Gore, and we've got the Robert Quinn. They were limited time. Um, I still wish they'd bring back numbered cards. I mean... Those were literally my favorite cards in Madden, and they haven't been in Madden forever. I guess technically you can say the Sean Taylor is numbered, but it's numbered to a ridiculously high amount. I mean, like, numbered to 100, numbered to 21. Like, they could have done Frank Gore, numbered to 21, or numbered to 210, and then, like, Robert Quinn, numbered to 94, stuff like that. They did come with the special chemistries. Uh, Frank Gore, oops. Frank Gore got the Battle Ready Chem, and, uh... Robert Quinn, I believe it's Jump Snap, Jump the Snap Chem, uh, and so that's all I'm going to talk about them. So we got the new flashbacks, so let's get into this. Uh, I actually have some stuff to compare, so we'll get into the first one. I'm actually going to buy this one right now, is Derek Johnson. So we'll go ahead and compare him up against the guy who is starting on my team currently, and that's Dayon Buchanan. So he, he gets a 5-speed downgrade from Buchanan, but he's up 9 awareness, up 7 tackle, up 9 play recognition, up a or up nine block shed, up five pursuit, up three zone, and up five hit power. Uh, taking a look at the man, the man is important to me, so it's got to be on par before I actually shell out the coin. So 79 man, it is on par with uh, Dion Buchanan. Um, I might actually hold on to Buchanan, and it may be the end of Ray Lewis on the team because Ray Lewis just doesn't cover well enough for me. I mean, I want to use Ray, but he doesn't cover like at all and so it just seems like a waste to have him on the team um so Derek Johnson gonna join the team um I could probably wait and get him for like 50k but I don't it, it's not that big of a deal to me so I'm gonna buy him right now so there's Derek Johnson added to the team he's also the chem which works out extremely nicely and then let's move on move on to Let's move on to Geno Atkins. So Atkins currently going for 236k. He comes with that zone chemistry, which a lot of people are trying to run. So we'll compare him up here against Mean Joe Green. He's got 70 spore speed, 87 strength, 86 tackle, 86 block shed, 91 power move, uh, 80 finesse, 90 play recognition, and 86 pursuit. Uh, I don't think there's much else you need to see stat-wise. 90 awareness, I guess that's kind of important. Somehow, Mean Joe Green has 89 stiff arm. Uh, both of the, all of the, both of them can block. They got some, uh, they got some impact blocking on them. But all in all, pretty comparable to the uh, Mean Joe Green. Not sure he's worth full value. Uh, next, we will go ahead and take a look at Brandon Cooks. So Brandon Cooks going for 256k. You know I want to get this card. I already have this Brandon Cooks, so I'm definitely interested in picking this one up because the 86 is godlike, so I can only imagine what the 89 can do. So he's got 91 speed, 87 catch, 80. Uh, let's see here. Let me be. 88 elusiveness. I was trying to like do the math in my head. I was. I was saying what his elusiveness was, and I was thinking, like, oh, plus four elusiveness, and it just came out weird in my brain. Uh, 86 bet catch, 84 release, 86 route running, 85 catch in traffic, and 84 jumping. Quickly, that's a two boost to speed, three to catch, four to elusiveness, four to spectacular catch, four to release, four to route running, uh, three to catch in traffic, and three to jumping. Uh, so... I have extreme interest in actually picking up this card. I guess we can, um, hold on. Is that the cheapest one up? 256. 256 is the cheapest Brandon Cooks up. If it wouldn't put me at 50k coins, I would buy it. Uh, but it would put me at a severe, a severe deficit of points, or of coins. So I don't really think I want to do it. Uh, and then moving on to the final card, another card I have a lot of interest in is Adrian Peterson. So Peterson coming in at 216k. He just looks like a beast, except for his uh, carry. So I did the Gauntlet Champions Peterson because they haven't been releasing new ones, and you have to complete them all to do the special thing anyway. So yeah, I got the Gauntlet Champion uh, AP. 
And so here are his stats compared. So the Vikings won 88 speed, 90 agility, 89 excel, 83 carry, 88 ball carrier vision, 82 elusiveness, 91 trucking, and 87 juke move. Uh, if you wanted to see catching stats, 70 catching. That 83 carry is a little worrying to me. Uh, as you can see, Barry has 86, and he fumbles a lot, so I don't know how that's going to work. I'm going to use the 87 and see how he plays. If he plays like absolute trash, we, will, uh, we won't do that. Also, we have the new tri Twitch Prime Legend, and that is Jerome Bettis. So you can upgrade him to a 90 overall, uh, but he'll be one of the new cards. Also, another card I'm interested in. He has 85 speed? Hold up. This Jerome Bettis could actually be beastly. Let me pull up the, uh, let me pull up my head real quick and I'll read you off, um, his stats. At least the 90 overall one. Still gotta do that predictor token video, so be prepared for that one. I have some time here to record some videos. I'm having a, a cookout at my, uh, uh, with my family, and so I have some time here to, uh, what are you trying to say? Um, I have some time here to record some videos. So let's see here. Jerome Bettis, 90 overall Twitch legend. So he's got 86 speed, 91 excel, 81 agility, 87 strength, 75 jumping, 89 trucking, 85 elusiveness, 89 ball carrier vision, 7, 91 stiff arm, 83... Uh, spin move, 89 juke, 90 carrying. That's what I like to see, 90 carrying. He's also my chemistry. I haven't been doing any of these. What I wanted to do while I was in here um, is check. I want to check um, my Twitch Prime tokens, but I don't even know what those fall under. Like, What are those considered? Program... Like, you would think they'd be under Twitch. I don't even see Twitch here. Um, thought they'd be under Twitch, but they're not. And so, I don't actually know what they come under. They no team? Yeah, here we go. So, I have five Twitch Prime tokens right now. I should have ten. I really should have ten, but the game hates me, so I don't have ten. And so... I do, I do think we're, I need to touch out the AP. I guess, let me, hold, before I get Jerome Bettis, before I get Jerome Bettis, I need to do my solo sequence here. The Gauntlet Unleashed Premium Championship so that I can get my free uh, NAT Elite so I know if I pull like a Le'Veon Bell, then obviously I don't want to do Jerome Bettis. But let's throw this Derek Johnson into the lineup. Uh, I'll probably end up keeping Dale and Buchanan. Uh, that would give me a little bit of more flexibility here. I could probably I could get rid of John Abraham and swap him around. There's a couple of little flexibility things that it would allow me to do, but let's go ahead and throw Derek Johnson into the starting defensive lineup. Does not get a boost in overall. I'm kind of surprised about that. But also now we have some uh, Chiefs interest here to get some boost. Oh, actually, we're good on Chiefs. So I have Barry. I have Der Derek Johnson. I have Tyreek, who is my other, oh, Christian Okoye, okay, so I was already getting this, the Chiefs boost, now I'm getting it even more, um, would have interest if I got that, that would be interesting, I don't run a lot of fullback, but, uh, that's some interesting things I could do, next on, on tap is getting Brandon Cooks, that 89 overall one, that is goal right now, I want to get that Brandon Cooks, um, I'm hoping that, realistically they don't keep releasing cards that i want uh because when they release cards that i want it gets kind of messy but uh you can buy this elite bundle gives you a guaranteed flashback uh in my opinion probably not worth it at all but uh i'll continue to sit here on uh on brandon cooks and thinking about whether or not i want to buy him but guys that's going to do it for the video that is the new flashbacks i hope you all enjoyed drop a like if you did subscribe if you haven't Catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. Letting go, times we might feel like I'm out. Looking down.